Okay. So let's let's talk about let's talk about the main thing I wanted to talk about here. So this this was a video that was sent in to me. Um, wow, this only has eight. This only has thirty four thousand views. This was emailed to me by somebody. Um, I get people that email me stuff pretty pretty often. I mean, not not super often. Like once a month, I get somebody to email me something. Usually, it's like here's my crash, or usually it's like here's this crash. Would you do an accident analysis video on it? And and often they. I don't really have anything to say because they're like really obvious or they're the the lessons are already like a part of one of the previous accident analysis ones but um they sent me this and i was i was pretty floored by this so this is what's this is part of a um a, a one of the one of those channels that like aggregates motorcycle crashes basically finds people who put their crashes up and then tries to like take the rights from them basically so that they can monetize it which is pretty scummy in my opinion but whatever okay so Watch, watch his mirror in the bot in the bottom left. That's that's where you start this. He gives it to the other guy. The other guy's like, "All right, I'm out. Peace." Can you guys hear this? This isn't this isn't too quiet, is it? Um, sorry, I'm, I'm look I'm like hearing it now, and it's like pretty, pretty quiet. My Chrome is down. Okay, okay, okay. So this dude just gets tackled off his fucking bike. Yeah, what it. What did I do? It's only mono too. I only hear it on my left side. I think this is the best I'm gonna be able to do. It gets a little louder, I think, later. Wow. <laughs> All you're really gonna be able to hear is the the biker mainly. Is this really this quiet? I swear to God it wasn't this quiet when I first watched it. Hold on. Hold on. Speaker up. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying. This is like, this is not the greatest audio in the world. I'm going to try to... What? It's not my, it's not my so he says, he says, when I, so the, I'm, I'm just going to reiterate to you what I hear. So this, because even, even the motorcycles can't really hear, right? He's saying, what, what are you talking about? Like the things he asks is like, what are you doing? Why did you do this? So what the cop just said was, when you have your license plate like that, so he had like a license plate like mounted up like this. When you have it like that, you're probably going to run is basically what he says. Bike, my dad. It's not even my bike, it's my dad. So then he tries to pick it up, which, holy shit, how, how mad would you be if this dude just tackled you off and then he's like, this is how he's trying to pull the bike, right? Like, again, I don't know how many of you pick up, they don't teach you to pick up a bike like this in the MSF courses. <laughs> huh? So he asks him, can I lift it like this? Because again, he has no idea what's going on. I mean, you probably already f***ed it up from slamming into the ground. So he says, am I going to fuck it up if I lift it like this? And of course the guy's like, you already fucked it up, asshole. I don't know, man. This guy's super calm, by the way. Yeah. Just, just leave it. Please, please, please stop touching my bike. Please. No, don't. Scuffed up his fairings. Poor Jixer. Yeah, I just said. It's in my pocket here. Do you have any ID? So then he like leans pocket leans over. Pocket, yeah. Because of course he's fucking handcuffed now. For whatever reason. Why he's handcuffed, who who knows? Alright. Let me get your ID and then I'm gonna uncuff you. So <laughs> Got insurance in there too. We don't know what he did other than having that license plate. There's no, yep. the, the cop hasn't said you were speeding, you were wheeling. He literally is just like, your license yeah. plate is like this. Slide one knee up. 
Oh, you oh. helped him out. How sweet. <sighs> Looking at the damage. <laughs> I would have pulled over. So the reason normally we would. Yeah. When guys hide the fucking license plate, yeah. they don't pull over, they take off. This, this is, this is important though, because this is exactly what that fucking cop who pulled the gun on me said too. Like this guy says, when people have this license plate, this, they don't pull over. The guy's like, I would have fucking pulled over. I didn't even know you were there. Right. It's the same reason Roe gave me. He's like, well, you know, people on street bikes, they just take off. So I had to come at you with a gun to make sure you didn't take off. And it's like, it's like, again, it's the assumption that you are literally already a felon. Like when you're not right, this is, and this is, this was my argument. Um, I argued this against the sheriff's department that I was like, you know, when he comes up to me and assumes that I'm going to run, that is a motorcycle bias. He has a bias against me simply because I'm on my bike and he is making an assumption about me. And they were like, of course they didn't found that. Like I, I literally found in their, they, in their manual, I was like, see, you have an anti motorcycle bias policy right here. This is, this is what motorcycle bias looks like is coming at me with a gun, assuming I'm going to run. Uh, but again, of course they were like, mm, we can't prove that. We can't prove that. Because again, just like just like anything else cops do, it has to be insanely overt. Like he would have to say, man, I fucking hate motorcycle riders and I just love pulling my gun on them is, is what he'd have to do to get that. Well, if guys are going to take off, they won't have a license plate, to be fair. <laughs> Good point. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. But I mean, if you're going to run from the cops, you wouldn't want, you wouldn't want a license plate anyways, right? I, I wouldn't think so, but they yeah. do it, and they put stolen plates on there and, and yeah. whatever else. Fair enough. Um, so that's that's why I had to do that. Is just so you that's why I had to do um, that. Um, but anyways, all right. Uh, I'm just gonna run your plate as long as everything's okay. You're good to go. That's why I had to tackle you off your bike. Is because some people run when they have their bike plate mounted like that. <sighs> Poor guy. I can tell. Like he's coming down. Like I can hear it. It's like fuck me. Now my shit's all scuffed up. Bend his fucking, bend his fucking brake. Of course, he's got stock brakes, so it's you know they come up three feet past your fucking bike. Of course, he's gonna run the plate. No, the plate, but this all. No. You know he's gonna do the thing he should have done before he tackled the guy, which is to run the plate first to determine that he yeah, wasn't a criminal. Yeah, it's all bent now. Everything it's was legal. Like this. No, here's the bribe. Yeah, I don't know. Here comes the bribe. Fuck. You can't hear it very well. It gets a little more obvious later. I'll link you guys to this too, by the way. I'll put it in the description. Oh, look at that. Look at all that gang tattoo. All that gang shit he's got in his fucking jacket. That's probably why. Oh, tip sensor. Rip. <laughs> Feels bad, man. That's not a good feeling. Dad is gonna be pissed. Good call. Uh, probably just a tip over sensor. Usually, gotta do this a couple times for it to turn on. I don't know. And of course, this is, you can tell this is recent because he's wearing a COVID mask. I don't know. I'm going to give it a little bit. Yeah, everything sensible. You don't have to, like, throw me off the bike. I wasn't trying to throw you. I was just trying to hold you so you wouldn't, like... <laughs> let's, let's remember that. Let's remember that statement, right? And again, this is, this is the classic cop like reimagining the scenario, right? He's like already like reactively like, well, I wasn't trying to throw you, right? Even though he like sneaked up and literally like speared him off the fucking bike. He's like, well, what I was trying to do was just give you a, a gentle pat on the shoulders to kind of just like, hey man, like I'm here, please don't run. Oh shit, they did a, they did a fucking replay. I don't know. I'm gonna give it a little bit. Okay, hold on. We'll watch this replay. Does this feel like? Does this look gentle to you? Yeah, just trying to hold like him. Throw me off the bike. <laughs> 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 
You threw me, man. Come on. <laughs> it's cop world. Cop world's a different, different than real world. Oh, there it is. Sorry, there it is. There it is. Here's the bribe. Here's the bribe. I gotta make this right. What can we do? I, I don't know. You tell me. I've never had a situation like this. I mean, generally, they pick it up and drive off. Generally, they just pick it up and drive off. Generally, when I tackle people off their bikes and their bikes fall down, people just drive off and don't even complain about it. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> is there like a reimbursement for my up handle bar? I don't know. My bad. Yeah. Literally on camera saying it's my fault. <laughs> I uh, again another situation where I think the cop maybe doesn't realize he's on film or uh, like I, like probably doesn't or maybe he does and so he's like again just kind of panicking about this. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. God, that was crazy. And then it cuts. That was crazy. So I don't know. I don't know what happened after that. And then this. So he's calling his fucking sergeant, probably. That's it. So so um, that that's that's the whole video. So I went to um, Mr. Moto meme. So I I went here and I was like, because this is the dude, right? It was it was just plastered over it, and I was just looking at his like last videos, um. And I was trying to see, so I was like, okay, this guy. This is here, but he must like have it up on his channel, right? Nope, it ain't here. His last upload is four months ago. This guy's like a super small, like throws, clearly just throws shit up for him and his buddies, right? So I went here and was like, I, re I was like, hey man, like, do you wanna, do you wanna talk about this? Like, I can help you, like, have you sued these people? Cause that's, I mean, all the, all the, the previous video basically had people calling out like, hey man, you can't really do this. Now this is in Canada. To clarify, I don't actually know the laws for Canada. It is possible that in Canada, a cop can fucking tackle you like that. I, I don't know. I wouldn't think so. I've actually seen some. So I'm in like the protect and serve subreddit, which is like the, the cop subreddit. I have seen Canadian police do some insanely aggressive shit. Like the whole the whole Canadians are nice thing. Like it clearly does not apply to their fucking cops. Like their cops are, are just as aggressive as fucking Baltimore police. Um, at least in some places that I've seen, you know, maybe the Mounties are different, but I've seen some rough shit. So, but again, I'm guessing that he realized what he did. Um, and, and, and I don't know. I mean, I, I think that the fact that this is only on a, on a, um, on a channel that was like, Hey, can I, here's my theory. He posted this video up and was like, Holy shit. Look at this thing, guys. That video probably got pretty popular, which you know, this fucking aggregator channel was like, hey, can I use this video? And the guy's like, sure, right? And then it got like ultra, ultra, ultra popular and people were telling him, hey man, this is really fucked up. You should do something about this. So he pulled the original video down, which is what you should do if you have something like this happen to you. You should just rip that fucking shit down, right? Until you, until you figure out what's gonna, until you know your shot, basically. Hopefully he has talked to a lawyer. Hopefully he is already, and again, my guess is that is exactly what is happening. Again, that's why he's not responding, not talking. So I think that something is happening about this. That's just what all these like signs to me indicate. Um, but yeah, that's that's just kind of pro tip. He's, he's doing it right. Um, pretty dumb, pretty dumb. And again, the way that it like cut between like, I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if that cop gave him fucking money. Like was like, here, here's a hundred bucks or whatever for your trouble. Uh, I, I would not be surprised, but the, the, the make it right piece, if a cop is telling you, Hey, what can we do to make it right? Like, again, that's what you do. It's, I'm supposed to be bribing you. I'm supposed to be like, Hey, we're in a speeding ticket. Is there something I can do right now to make this right? You know, like that's, that's bribe language for sure. Um, and again, I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what Canadian courts look like. I don't know what their use of force standards look like. So it's entirely possible that, you know, nothing happens to this guy, but yeah. All right. So that was the, that was that, man, we're kind of, we're kind of ripping through this stuff. Um, so the next pieces I had, did I miss anything about that? Is anybody <laughs> defund yourselves? I think that's, I think that's reparations when the cop just gives you his money. Um, 
In Ontario, they have chase laws where if you lane split or exceed, police aren't allowed to continue pursuits. Yeah, that's good. I mean, honestly, chase laws are, are no chase laws are smart. Like you have the license plate. So you know the vehicle, you know who the vehicle's registered to, like unless it's literally stolen, which I mean, it can happen. Um, you've got all the information. There's no reason to chase. You just fucking show up to their house later or wherever. Like you're gonna track them down eventually. Um, there's not really, like, you don't have to pull a guy down. Like, you don't have to, like, endanger everybody's lives um, to make that happen. And I, I was looking for my last video series when I was looking at, like, cop deaths and stuff. So there was, like, um, there was, like, 100 cop deaths in 2009, according to, or 2019, according to the FBI statistics. And, like, 48 of them were in car accidents. So it's, like, it, no chase laws make sense from, a, you know, you're not endangering the suspect, but then you're also not endangering the cop, too, um, by doing that. Thank you.